Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. Okay, so we're going for the November bonus reading for you guys. So let's see what's going on for you in November. Let's see. Starting off with the star. You know what? Pisces have the same first card, the star. Hopes and wishes and dreams coming true. Okay, and then we have the six of pentacles. Somebody, you know, I, everything was fine. As soon as I start the reading, I get bumpy here. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I just fixed it too. That's crazy. Okay, I don't know. Somewhere there's air. There's air in here. <laughs> okay, so Six of Pentacles. Something balancing out. Someone wants to maybe balance things out with you. Okay. And we have the Emperor. Ooh, you could be dealing with the Emperor, or this could be your energy. Aries is the Emperor. This is maybe someone taking charge, being in charge, a leader. This could be someone that is in authority too. Someone in authority might be trying to balance things out with you. Say it's a workplace situation. Your boss or someone higher up could be saying, Hey, I want to make things right with you. You're not getting compensated correctly. Maybe they're going to give you more money or something. I know. How many people just laughed at that? <laughs> yeah, right, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Star, Aquarius energy. Let's see what we got going on for that. Why is the star here? Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah. You know what? I, feel, I think someone's getting compensated for the heavy burden. Someone might have not realized how much work you actually do. Or something. It feels like that. So this is lightening your load with the Ten of Wands. Okay, and the Six of Pentacles. Something evening out. Maybe something wasn't fair in the past, but it feels like it's going to be. Yeah, it has to do with work. This is a work situation. Okay, and the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? The Devil. Hmm. Now that's Capricorn energy. I feel like someone is realizing, because the devil could also be someone that is a workaholic. I think the devil is the devil. The emperor is really seeing this boss is someone in charge is realizing that they they're under you're getting undercompensated here. That's not gonna be for everyone, I know. But let's see. Okay, it is a general reading. So the star with the ten of wands, let's see. Ooh, a new beg ah see I think someone's realizing you're about to to take a hike here you're about to leave that will make more sense what they get wind of the fact maybe you said something you know I'm not gonna stay here anymore I'm not you know I could get more pay or they know that you could get more pay and they might be um, offering you more money here okay so the six of Pentacles with the eight of Pentacles ooh the cherry this is gonna happen quickly or you might take off too. Some of you might just say the heck with it. You didn't appreciate me before and now because I'm going to leave. You maybe you're, this is you leaving here. Say, I'm going anyway. I, you might feel like this is a toxic environment. The emperor with the a devil here too could be someone that is a very toxic person. A very toxic environment. A situation that is not, not something you're going to... Oh yeah, look at this. Someone feels mentally trapped. Now, this could be... The energy I'm getting here is that... You know, you're seeing yourself maybe all tied up and stuck here, but other people don't see that. They realize that you are an asset here. So this is you looking in the mirror, seeing this. What other people see is the one outside of the mirror there. They're seeing your capabilities. They're seeing your assets. Okay. So now, let's see what else we get. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're reevaluating, reassessing, looking at something again, taking a second, maybe even a third look. What do I want to do? Where do I want to put my time? Do I want to stay in this situation? Even if I get offered this better pay. Let's see. We have the King of Swords. This could be you speaking your truth, or you could be dealing with a King of Swords. You could be have, This could also be that you're contemplating suing for someone. This could be, I mean, this could be a totally different situation than this. But with the King of Swords, could be that you're going to see someone of, for legal advice here. This could be a lawyer. This could even be a judge. But um, someone very smart and, you know, follows the rules. It feels like does what's right here. Let me get a charm on this King of Swords. It could be just saying, this is your energy speaking your truth. There's some could be a new love coming in for you too with the seahorse here. Let's see. 
Okay, we have the devil again. Wow. Definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to have to get more in order to figure out what that devil is. Okay, let's see. Why is... Seven of Pentacles here. We have a lot of Pentacles, so it feels like you are dealing with something with your work situation. So let's see. The Two of Swords. You're, you're stuck in between trying to figure out what to do here. You might, do I cut my losses and leave, or do I give them a little chance if they offer me a better um, pay? Okay, what about this King of Swords? The Two of Wands. Yeah, see, you're at a crossroads here, trying to figure out what to do. And why is the devil here? The Eight of Cups, yeah. You're thinking that maybe this is just too toxic. I'm going to walk away from it. It feels like this is not worth it. So that's why I'm feeling like someone might be leaving their position or saying, no matter what you offer me, I'm, it's not good. You might be also taking them to court, maybe. Let's see what else we get. Okay, this is the Three of Pentacles. This is something to do with teamwork, working together. Um, really trying to decide what to do here. Do you want to stay on this team or do you want to leave? I think you're really confused about what to do here. Okay, so we have the King of Swords and the Two of Wands. Yeah, the hangman. Look at this. You're stuck. Maybe you like the people you're working with or you like or you like the job itself. But there's something that you're saying, I don't know, I should walk away. And here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you're going to decide to walk away from this position. Let me get the words now on this King of Swords. Okay, finish, player, change. Okay, like, see, yeah, this one is saying that they're finished somehow. A, a, I'm going to take the player as not a player, like a, a Don Juan, Don Wanda, a, you know, Romeo, not Romeo. Well, you know what I mean. Um, I'm going to take it more as trying to play someone. They're Someone might be saying, okay, we're not going to play you anymore. We're not. And you're like, well, why did you do it in the first place? I think you're walking. I, whoever I'm tapping into, I think they're walking from a situation because it's just not there. It's not worth it. Okay, let's see what else we have. Can we get into something else maybe? What else do we have here for Scorpio? We have the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something to happen. Maybe waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe you put your resume out there and you're waiting for something to come back to you on it and we have the eight of swords but here you are stuck in your head again not sure what to do feeling trapped but you have the strength here's leo energy you have the strength to do what you need to do here you got this okay let's see what else we have do we have the three of wands knight of swords okay so this could be you maybe contemplating whether or not to move but you might be also something might be coming towards you or this might be your energy in knight of swords this is failure is not an option knight of swords moves and moves swiftly okay let's see we have here we have the owl something wise or wise or communication coming in it could also come at night okay let's see about this eight of swords we have here the high priestess Ooh. There might be secrets that are really what's bothering you here. Someone might be keeping secrets, and you don't like that. This also could be your intuition talking to you. Virgo Cancer Energy with the High Priestess. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you have the strength to follow your dreams, doing what you want to do. You might be considering doing something else then. Okay. Let's see. Why is the Three of Wands with the Nine of Swords here? We have here, someone's willing to, okay, this could also be, we got seven of wands here. Someone's willing to fight for something here. You might be fighting for justice or fighting for something here. But this also could be that someone's interest in you, which is a knight of swords, and they're willing to fight for your connection, for your um, attention. Let me get the words on this knight of swords. We have here, breakup, tower, intruder okay so something maybe this person's fighting with someone because they they cause this breakup between you two and so this person might be arguing with this person that came in between you um every scorpio energy with the tower there's some intruder something that to cause a breakup okay now the eight of swords with the high priestess we have here this is 
the world. Okay. So, yeah, it, it seems like there's too many secrets. There's too much stuff hidden. And it's keeping you in your head here thinking. So, yeah, I think you're going to complete this cycle and you're going on to something else. Or someone is completing a cycle to start something new here. Now we have here the strength, the Nine of Cups. And this is the Queen of Wands. Okay. So, this could be that there could be someone trying to have the strength to come towards you with the Queen of Wands here. Nine, that you might be their wish fulfillment. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this could be you. You know, having the strength to do what you really love. So, take it how it resonates with you. Because it could be something that you really would enjoy doing. And you just need to, you know get there where you can push yourself to do it this is loyalty we have a dog here we have the dash hound doggy if anybody has a dog like that it might make you know might be something personal connected to you here okay let me get the words on this queen of wands we have yeah career present important so something in your career right now in the present is very important to you that you're trying to either keep or or trying to maybe obtain here okay i definitely we have more of a career reading for you guys right now so i think you're focusing on your career focusing on your money okay so let's see what else do we have going on for scorpio a male or female does not matter. We have the two of cups. You have a choice here. This could be a soulmate connection coming into. And we have the fool, a new beginning, a choice. A choice. I think you're, if this is business, you have a choice of what you want to do. Maybe have a couple different options. The queen of cups. You're going to do what you love. The queen of cups. Also, this definitely could be your card. Someone very loving, nurturing, very intuitive. And we have here... You're, there's a change coming. You're definitely transforming. You're changing something with Butterfly. Okay, let's see what else we have. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Hierophant. Okay, this could be commitment here. This could also be, maybe you're learning something new. Taking a new, um, new interest in something. A new, you might be studying something new. You might be actually changing careers. Maybe you're deciding to do something. I almost, I really feel very strongly that someone is doing a job, but they really want to do something else. And they might be really considering changing. Learning something new, changing. Uh, Taurus is the Hierophant. Let's see the Fool, Aries, Aquarius we have here. Um, Nine of Swords. Someone is really stressing over whether or not to take a leap of faith on something. And we have the Three of Pentacles. And maybe working together on a team, working together with others considering something else we have the three of pentacles here twice so you're definitely considering maybe what which team to be on okay two of cups in the hierophant we have yeah see you're at a crossroads this is a two of rods in this deck two of wands you're trying to make up your mind on what you should do here and the fool and the nine of swords we have here this is the two of swords yeah trying to make up your mind here you're very conflicted here we have the two of swords here twice so you're trying to decide what to do you're not and you have the two of wands here twice yeah that's the whole thing it's mainly this you're just trying to decide what to do don't forget to ask the angels for help and your guides they, they cannot help you unless you request their help so ask them for help and we have the empress yes you're, you could be coming into this empress energy here so the Empress energy, if you work together with someone doing what you love, I feel like this is saying that you will be prosperous here because the Empress is the most prosperous card in the deck. Libra Taurus energy, but it, it's also very creative. This is giving birth to something new. I think you're maybe you're trying to build your own team here with three three people, you and two others. Three of Pentacles is really standing out for me. I feel like there is something you're considering and you might be saying, well, I can do this if, if um, so and so and so and so come with me. That would be awesome. We would make a great team. I'm feeling that for someone here. But yeah, it's like giving birth to something new. This also could be saying something about someone being pregnant here. But it's um, 
is, is creativity, is birth, is, is maybe a new job, a new business. Okay, let's do one more set here. What else do we have here for Scorpio? We have here three of cups. There's going to be some kind of get-together, some kind of celebration. I see this three. I think there's three people. With the three of pentacles, three of pentacles here twice, plus the three of cups. I think you feel like this will be a real happy connection with three. And there is a knight of cups. Maybe someone else is that really would love working with you or be someone that would be um, a good asset to your company you're trying to start here. We have here the Knight of Swords too. Very determined energy. Have the Knight of Swords twice here. What do we have up here? Oh, sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's the King of Swords. I was thinking of the Knight of Swords. I'm moving everything around now. Okay, so yeah. So we have the Knight of Swords here twice. Okay. Alright. So definitely a, a determined energy. Uh, you know, failure is not an option with the Knight of Swords. And you have the Knight of Cups that loves, you know, that follows his heart. So it also could be a love connection too. There could be someone, there could be two people. You could also be, actually, I never see the Three of Cups as a love triangle, but there could be two people interested in you. It could be a Knight of Cups and a Knight of Swords. You, they could be fighting over you here. Because we did have the Knight of Swords here with the Seven of wands with men someone's fighting for you yeah so take it how it resonates with you for some people it'll be a love connection that you might be in a, this triangle where there's two people not that you're really in it it's just you have choices it doesn't mean that you know that you're actually in it you could be dating these people but you didn't commit to anyone so then you're not really in they might both be new to you Okay, let me see what's on the bottom of this deck. We have here the Ten of Wands. You're going to be putting down a heavy burden here. And we have the Ten of Wands here too. So definitely putting down some kind of heavy burden. Let's see. Just move this over a little bit. Just move these. So I got this here. Okay. So let me put the charms on these. And then I'll do these. So we have here the Knight of Cups. We have, ooh, we have a, a mixer. This person might mix things up for you, or they might make things exciting, or they might you might feel all mixed up about them. Because, or this person could be a baker, or a, a chef, a cook, or you could be. Take this how this might resonate with you. See, we have a mixer. So yeah, someone definitely could be mixing something up, or they could be using this in whatever they do for a living. Now let's see about this night of, or maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe you want to leave your present job to do something that inquires, uh, requires a mixer. We have the key. This person feels like they have the key to your heart, or maybe you feel like that. This also could be, for some of you, a business connection where it's you and these two other people. One's a knight of cups and one's a knight of swords. Okay, let's see here. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Okay. This, you know, the Queen of Wands is very um, attractive. This could be your energy. Some people could be finding you very attractive. Also, it could be what you do is very attractive. Or people like the way you do things. Or, or they like your style. Um... Aries Leo Sagittarius could be also come towards you, Queen of Wands. We have here, there is a transition going on here. We have the Dragonfly. There, you might be going through some kind of change. And also, for someone here, if you're leaving the job you're currently at to something new, it might be a major change. It might just change your appearance and everything because you'll be happier, be lighter. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Cups. We have the tower. Okay, so this Knight of Cups, whoever this is, is going to shock you. Every Scorpio energy, may they come in out of the blue, or something happens, they say something, something is like um, a surprise here. A sudden change, something you're not expecting. Okay, what about this Knight of Swords? We have, oh, we have a Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Swords might have a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Um, the Don Juan, Don Wanda. Wow. Yeah, the Playboy Playgirl. This person could come in and that energy or it could just be they have a lot of passion for what they want, what they do. And we have the death card here. Scorpio, here's your card. So you're putting an end to these burdens for sure. 
you're, you're you're either able to get out of the position you're in that you're not liking that you're not getting paid correctly for or it could be you're just ending something that just doesn't suit you and you're I almost feel like you're being reborn. There's a major transformation here. Death card is transformation. And it's the end of the deck here. So this is not, you're not seeing this yet, but it's happening. Okay, so now let's clarify. The Three of Cups with the Queen of Wands. We have here, this is the moon. Okay, someone, this could be someone that's interested in you and they maybe they're not telling you. Um, they could be hiding their emotions. This is a very intuitive read. This also could be could be standing for fear. It could be intuition. It could be secrets, something hidden. Pisces energy. Okay. Now, the Knight of Cups with the Tower. We have here, this is... Is it the Nine? Yes, yeah, the Nine of Wands. Or nine of rods in this deck. Yeah, someone being very protective here. This this nine of cups might come in and surprise you at how protective they are of you. Or there might be some kind of boundaries set up here that might shock you. What about this um, knight of swords and knight of wands? Ooh, someone's definitely moving away from something to something better. They're moving away from something. I think someone's coming towards you because they're not happy where they're at. And now we have here, this is the Ace of Cups because they have a lot of love for you. Okay, but this is hidden. This is what you're not seeing. There's You're going to, in the future, you're not seeing this coming yet. You're going to have, end to your burdens. There's going to be some kind, oh, and look what was shown down here. You can't even see it, but just got to show you now. The star. We started with the star and underneath it all this wanted to show. So you're going to be happy. Your hopes and wishes and dreams are going to come true here. And your ace of cups. Someone's coming in with a lot of love. I do think you have a choice between a couple people. Maybe even more. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. But okay, let's start doing the words. We have the queen of cups. Let's see. We have later. Always truth okay so later someone's going to always be speaking the truth on something here okay now let's do the queen of wands mystery that makes sense with the moon committed confess okay so i think someone's coming to you and they're going to be confessing their feelings they've been keeping this hidden they want to be in a commitment with you okay so now let's do the knight of cups Likely future lion. Ooh. So maybe that's someone might be lying in the future. Okay. Again, you know, just take if it resonates with you. It's not going to be for everyone. Now let's do the Knight of Swords and then we'll do the Knight of Wands. We have here money before separate. Okay, maybe before someone had their money separated from you, or it might be someone you know, or they had money before they had it. Oh, maybe this person, because they're moving away from something, right? They were leaving something to come to you. This Knight of Swords could have had money before, but now they're in a separation from someone, and now maybe they don't have money because they're separating and may go into through a divorce. Okay, so that's something to think about too. Let's see here. We have, what is this? Whoa, they have, this is the tornado. It's like something, someone's money getting caught up in this. So it feels like someone's, something happening here with the tornado. Okay, so I don't like that too much. Okay, now let's see about this Knight of Wands. Okay. We have forget, eventually realize okay so it's it feels like to me this person is coming in they have they might be a don juan don wanda and they're coming in and now maybe after they separate they're not gonna have money maybe they were involved with someone because of money and now it feels like so eventually you're just going to realize you have to forget this person because they're not going to be you know they're not going to be someone that you could trust 
and it's supposed to be have the like, likely future lion. I don't know if it's the same person or is it someone different here? Some of you will be the same person, some of you will be different. So uh, just don't forget to ask the angels for help and guidance because, again, they cannot help you unless you ask. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. It looks like there's some changes for some of you. It's going to definitely be workplace. Some of you, it's going to be love. Um, this could all be happening in the workplace too. So just you'll know who it is if it's for you. If you don't, if you're confu if you're confused by it, then it's not for you. So just know that. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all your um, support and your love and your support and your likes. Oh my God, thank you so much. And your comments has really been helping me a lot. And I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And um, thank you for all your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, and. Um, your shares. I appreciate it all and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.